Now, international efforts to restart the long-stalled multi-nation talks on North Korea's denuclearization appear to be making some headway. The chief nuclear envoys from South Korea and China have been meeting in Beijing this week, while in Washington, officials from Japan and the U.S. have been sitting down for talks. Uh, Huang Sangyi has the details. As Chinese President Xi Jinping readies for his visit to South Korea next month, Seoul's chief nuclear envoy, Pang jung guk and his Chinese counterpart, Wu dae met Tuesday in Beijing to discuss a resumption of the long-stalled six-party nuclear talks. Speaking to reporters on the condition of anonymity, a high-ranking South Korean official said Seoul, Washington and Beijing share the same view on the need to prevent Pyongyang from further development of its nuclear capacity. The six-party talks, aimed at ending Pyongyang's nuclear program, involve the two Koreas, the United States, China, Japan and Russia, but have been at a standstill for more than five years. China, as North Korea's biggest ally, has pushed for an early resumption of the talks, while South Korea, the United States and Japan have said the North must take practical steps to denuclearize before they will return to the negotiating table. But this trilateral cooperation has recently been called in question following Japan's individual dialogue with North Korea. Speaking with his U.S. counterpart Glenn Davies in Washington on Tuesday local time, Japanese Chief Nuclear Envoy Junichi Ihara explained Tokyo's agreement with Pyongyang, which centers on reinvestigating the fate of Japanese abductees to the north. According to the Kyodo News Agency, Ihara stressed the importance of the trilateral alliance in countering North Korea's nuclear ambitions, but said that the abduction issue required separate discussions. And as North Korea accelerates diplomacy of its own, experts say South Korea should make use of the Chinese leader's upcoming visit as an opportunity to outline what it wants from Pyongyang in exchange for restarting dialogue. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.